What's good? We back. Motor City Sports Talk. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back in the building. Talking about available um, defensive free agents that can help the Detroit Lions who are still available. Um, last time I checked was actually just before I did the video. Um, obviously, the big one is in the middle, Jonathan Hankins. Uh, we got Sylvester Williams. Um, Deshaun Hand might play in interior as well. Um you got Ashawn Robinson, but we need, I guess, one more run stopper like Jonathan Hankins. He's a local guy as well, but I think he went to Ohio State. So, uh, I don't know what's to hold up as far as uh, Jonathan Hankins. I think the Lions got got some cap room left as well to sign him, so he ain't going to get no big contract, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but he's a, a space eater, you know. You put him and Williams in, in the middle on short yardage situations, the goal line situations. You know, I don't see too many people running up in the middle on the lines. I think that's the fish, you know, the big fish that they, they still can get that could bolster the defense. Um, he's a space eater, um, you know, take two or three blocks up like Sylvester Williams. So you want to get Sylvester Williams some run-stopper coverage behind him, a little bit of insurance behind him or in front of him because Hankins is just as good as Williams, probably better than Williams. You know, they both had some down years. Um but, you know, you don't want a situation to be like last year where you got Hanoi Nada. He's your best run stopper. He goes out and your defense just plummets. Because the Lions defense was beast when Nada was in there. Wasn't nobody running. And we know Nada's gone to Philadelphia. So Jonathan Hankins is definitely um probably numero uno on the Lions list. They have been talking to him. Um I know it was once upon a time, a couple about a month or two ago. They didn't want to sign any free agents because you could possibly lose compensatory picks or something like that. But that's somebody to look at defensively as well. Um, and also, also, sometime in the near future, we'll talk about the offensive free agents that potentially can help the Lions. Um, obviously, you got Eric Reed. Uh, um, you know, he probably ain't going to sign. He in the collusion case with Kaepernick. But I think he was one of the better defensive free agents out there, a dude that could play safety and cover the nickel. And a big hitter, he could probably play both safety spots, even though it's really, you know, in today's NFL, they bat, they ask for free safety and strong safety to do the same responsibilities, though. That's somebody else to look at. I wanted to uh, go ahead and say he was on uh, my Lions' top wish list, but, you know, he's getting blackballed out the league. Um, so I don't want to make it about that. But everybody knows the situation. They can look at it with clarity and uh, be objective. Um, Trey Boston is a guy that's out there who had a big hit with San Diego. Uh, I assume that Trey Boston is still out there as a free agent is that he's pricing himself out. You know, he had a big year, a ball hawk and safety with the Chargers. Um, you know, you know, he got excellent cover skills. I mean, legitimately, you could put him at the free safety position to move Glover Quinn to the other safety position. But um, the reality is probably starting to set in for him, too. But he's an excellent young safety. He, you know, he underachieved with the Carolina Panthers, I believe. He ended up going to San Diego. He had a huge year last year. Huge year. Um, good, fast athlete. Um, intercept the ball. I mean, with a guy like, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, Killebrew that's on the, on, that's on the chopping block, you know, you, you know, if you can bring Trey Boston in for the right price, which the right price is probably getting better and better every day, you know, we get closer to the training camp, he ain't signed the contract. If you can fit it in, Trey Boston, even though you don't need him to, if you feel like Miles Killebrew not going to cut it at linebacker or cut it at that safety spot, or you feel in, you know, and you want to bring a guy like that in. He instantly starter. You know, he instantly will start over Quadre Diggs and and Tracy Walker and, and Tavon Wilson. He's an instant starter, but you know that's overkill, especially when you have one have some. You know, you got other pressing needs we we'll get into, and also you got a, a Navarro Bowman, the middle linebacker that played for the Raiders, came off the nasty uh, lower body injury. I think it was a nasty knee injury uh, sometime last year uh, or the year before that with San Francisco. Um, you know, I mean, he played a lot of 3-4 in his day inside linebacker. But if you could play stronger weak side, you know, I think he'd be worth looking at. You know, in my opinion, I haven't looked at the linebackers other than Devon Kennard. I also know Gerard Davis. But Christian Jones, I don't know too much about him. If you could bring Devar Bowman in, you know, at least he could be insurance for Gerard Davis at a weak position, a scarce position as far as depth. And, you know, if he could play some outside linebacker, you know, at this point, I mean, what could it hurt? Because at the end of the day, he could just hope to help tutor and mentor Gerard Davis into being the best middle linebacker he can be. And that's at and that's at minimum, that's what he could bring to the table. But like I said, you never know what could happen to these linebackers. If he can play outside linebacker, y'all could deem he could play that. 
and then you can just back up Gerard Davis in an event if he get injured or something. I think Navarro Bowman will be a good, um, you know, cheap pickup um, at the veteran minimum, a little bit above it. Um, and then he'll bring some value to the team. He got some experience making it to the Super Bowl and deep playoff runs, and he was one of the top middle linebackers for a long time. He played with another great top middle linebacker in Patrick Willis. He definitely can give Gerard Davis some game. Uh, another local product uh, is uh, another local product is Connor Baldwin. Actually, met his high school coach uh, last summer or this past fall. I can't remember. He said he's one of the players that he coached. Um, he, he's always a, a tenacious, uh, you know, uh, dude off the edge. He played a three-four linebacker, and Devon Kennard is kind of like that. And I think Baldwin could put his hand in the dirt full time if you need a guy that that can back up and give depth to Corey Hyder, Ziggy, and Anthony Zettel, which you know, you know, Connor Baldwin got that motor like Kyle Vandenbosch had. You want to bring the motor in. He's a local guy. You know, it got can't say that enough. He's a local guy that's familiar with the area. And um, like I said, he can get upfield. He still can rush the passer. Uh, like I said, he ain't what he used to be. But you know, you still can use him. You know, then doing the middle of Kim Ayers, he has some uh, experience being on a really, really good um, Denver Broncos defense. Jumped around New York, jumped around to Denver. He's a good pass rusher off the edge, good complete defensive end. Like, I'm not saying that he's the creme de la creme of defensive okay. ends, but he's a guy that can give you more depth and have starter experience. And Julian Gillette from the Redskins, he's another guy that can come off the edge. I think he had an injury that can give, that can give you some uh, some defense pass rushing off the edge. See, the Lions need uh, uh, up front. That's what they need. Front seven help. You know, they need some depth. At linebacker with Bowman will help. And they need a, uh, another rusher, another defensive end off the edge just in case Hyder ain't ready and Zeto doesn't improve and back up Ziggy, you know. So, you know, if I had to pick, obviously I want Jonathan Hankins up in there, but I had to have another pick. Um, I love Navarro Bowman as well um, to be that other pick, but we need help off the edge. You know, we need a lot of help off the edge. And I would probably think I would think more in the lines of Junior Gillette and Connor Barwin. And if Gillette is healthy, um, he got some experience. He's a little bit younger and fresher. He had a big 10-sack year a couple years ago. And if, it, if the price is right, I think Gillette and Jonathan Hankins and Bowman, those three can help us the most. And I think Bowman and Gillette will be at a cheaper price, more of a for Gillette, more of a uh, play and prove it deal for audition with another team or perhaps to stay here. And like I said, Hankins and Sylvester Williams on, on short yardage and goal line and run, known run situations, that's going to be nasty. So the Lions need uh, run stopper insurance behind or in front of Sylvester Williams because if, if they lose Sylvester Williams to injury, um, you know, it's going to be a situation like not a last year where guys may run wild. And then you never know. Hankins could be better than Williams for this system. You know, and like I said, on goal line and short yardage, they can get it done. And like I said, Bowman, like I said about uh, potentially bringing Antonio Gates in, I said Bowman, he could bring – he can bring a lot of game to the table for, for a guy like Jared Davis, and he can bring some depth. And I think he probably can play all three linebacker positions as well, too, but he can provide some depth behind um, behind Jerry Davis as well, too, and give him a lot of knowledge and game. But um, let me know what y'all think, man. I'm going uh, you know, to you know, link the uh, top 50 available free agents in the description. It's Murder City Sports Talk, getting ready for for the draft tonight. So when the Lions pick, we we can talk about the pick they, that they, they took tonight. And also, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And uh, don't forget, those links are in the description. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell icon button, man. I'm putting a lot of work in on this channel, man. It's coming for this season. A lot of big surprises coming as well. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow, Motor City Sports Talk. Um, definitely appreciate it. Continue to share, share, share. We out.